So we're going to start with the worksheet on the first side. And this is the magnetic fields in the general case. And we've got two questions here. And both of them ask, as I change something, what's going to happen to the magnetic field created by a particular current? In order to answer this, we're going to have to take a look at our, our general Biot-Savart law. Now, if you haven't watched the video on this to understand what all these terms are, you need to go back and watch that video. So this is our given equation. And the two thing it asks us about it is, one, if I change the current. And then the second is if I move further away. So for the first one, I'm talking about the current. Now notice, current is on the top of this equation. So then the question becomes, if I have a quantity here on the top, which means it's directly related to the magnetic field, if I increase that value and keep everything else in the equation the same, what's going to happen to the magnetic field? Now for the other one, which is the further away, what we're really talking about here is the r squared that's down here on the bottom. So since r squared is on the bottom, yes, it's inside the integral, but don't worry about that right now. The r squared is on the bottom. If I increase something that's on the bottom of the equation, meaning it's indirectly or inversely proportional, what happens to the magnetic field? So I'm not going to tell you the answer to these two questions, but I've guided you in terms of what are the important principles as you do this analysis. So you guys will have to circle the right answers on your sheet and then have that as part of what you turn in.